Hello Pelican Sound members, head golf professional Tim Harris here. I hope everybody's enjoying their summer up to this point. Uh, as all of you know, we're undergoing the clubhouse renovation now. Uh, and I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about some cart safety precautions when you're making your way around the clubhouse area. Uh, I'm standing on the cart path behind the clubhouse adjacent to the practice area, the short game practice area here. We have, as you can see, the clubhouse to my right. The uh, perimeter wall has been put up to uh, keep the construction in there. So cart traffic in this area could be a little bit tricky and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what kind of precautions you can take. As everybody knows, this is an area where there is two-way traffic, whether you're coming from the clubhouse heading towards lakes number one, or if you're coming off of lakes number nine and heading back to the clubhouse. So what we've done is we put up some temporary signs here, as you can see, uh, telling everybody to slow down just to be careful in this area. We also have a mirror that's up because as you make your way around this corner, it could be kind of a blind spot. So we want to make sure everybody is not going really fast when they come around this uh, particular part of the car path. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go a little bit further down here to the intersection where you come off of Lakes 9 and talk about some of the other procedures that we want everybody to follow once we get to that area. Now I'm standing in the area where the three cart paths tend to merge as you're coming off of lakes number nine or you're heading over to lakes number one. So what we're going to do in this area here is we're going to have everybody be extra careful. We're going to put up some stop signs, some temporary stop signs. Right over here, kind of coming from the same area where I was just talking, you see Kurt here. He just is coming from behind the clubhouse and he's making his way over to lakes number one. We put a temporary stop sign right here. So all carts would have to stop before proceeding on to lakes number one, as you see Kurt doing right here now. So he's going to head down that way to lakes number one. Uh, also over here to my left, we have Eric coming off of lakes number nine. So he's just finished playing lakes number nine. We have a stop sign right here. We drew a red line on the, uh, on the concrete. We're going to put up uh, regular stop signs here eventually once we get into season. But he is stopped here and also looking to his left to make sure there's no traffic before he proceeds on going back towards the clubhouse. Now, in the direction that Kurt went as he's heading over to lakes number one, we're gonna ask that that be one-way traffic from now on. So all traffic going in that direction is only gonna go that way. We don't want any carts coming from the other direction. So we're gonna head on down over there um, and I'll show you where we have some signs that say do not enter so we can control the traffic a little bit better around this area. Here we are at the intersection of Pelican Sound Boulevard and Pelican Sound Drive near the corkscrew gate. Uh, the cart path, as you can see here, normally carts would go in this direction to get to the clubhouse. Uh, we're asking that we keep it one-way traffic going towards Lakes 1 from now on, so we put up a do not enter sign uh, right here. So we, we really don't want carts going in this direction. Uh, heading towards the clubhouse because it gets really narrow in those areas that we were just talking about and it's more conducive for one-way traffic. So now we're going to ask that if you're coming um, from your home or you're coming off of Lakes 1 or in this direction you want to head back to the clubhouse that you take Pelican Sound Boulevard. Obviously we ask that you be cautious because it is a, a main road where there is automobile traffic um, but you can see uh, Eric and Kurt here are coming off from Seaside Edgewater so to speak and they're heading back towards the clubhouse area and they're just going to head down Pelican Sound Boulevard in order to get there. So uh, these signs here, like I said, are temporary. Once we get into season, we're going to have much uh, nicer signs here to kind of keep cart traffic from going in this direction. So all traffic heading to Lakes 1 and in that direction is going to be one way from now on. So we hope that this helps uh, in, you know, once we get into the main season, when it gets really busy, we know how congested it can get into that area. So hopefully these precautions uh, will help us achieve some sorts of, <laughs> some sense of order as we uh, make our way around the clubhouse this season. Thank you. Thanks for listening.